Good job, buddy. All right. So now here we are midday. We woke up. I saw the sunrise with McKenna this time. Tomorrow will be Cheyenne. We've had our campfire pudgy pie pizzas. We've relaxed. We've had some bike rides, a little bit of quiet time and schoolwork. And now we're going to check out the amphitheater and take maybe a little hike around the park, maybe a new short trail. And then we'll see what the rest of today has to offer. So now we're entering onto the ancient shoreline nature trail, which is a half mile easy level ground nature trail and then we're going to venture our way through and find the amphitheater Noah, make an arc of gopher wood and use pitch to fill the sides, for there is coming a rain many days from now, and I shall flood the earth and judge it for its sin. built the ark as I have commanded you. Now I shall bring a rain upon the earth and flood it for its many sins. But upon you and your household have I chosen to have mercy. You gather two animals, male and female, each after their own kind, and direct them on to the ark. For I'm going to flood the earth with a great flood, Noah. Okay, God, I am bringing the two tires. Go in the go in the ship. Come on. Move up. Get the ship. Get away. Get in the ship. Come on. Get the ship. Come on. Get in 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 the Noah, the time has come. I shall begin to flood the earth. Close up the doors, therefore, and you and your family shall be saved.
the rain ceased, and for a time Noah and his family and the animals floated over the deep, looking and hoping for a time where land would appear. And a time came when Noah sent out a dove, and the dove went out and came back, and thus Noah knew it was not yet time. And again he sent out a bird, and the bird returned, but this time with a leaf in its mouth, and Noah knew that land must be soon to appear. And so a time passed, and Noah once again sent out a bird, and the bird did not return, and thus Noah knew that land was now available to him and his family. And as time passed, the boat came to settle on the mountain tops of Ararat, and thus Noah and his family were saved. Well, I hope you enjoyed our adaptation of the historical narrative of Noah and his family. actually saying how he thought this tree was one of the prettiest trees we've seen so far at the park and it kind of makes sense why because this tree was planted on Arbor Day in the year 2000 as a commemoration of 100 years of Wisconsin State Park Service so it's a beautiful tree changing colors if the leaves start falling before we leave then I'll use them uh, to take some photographs tomorrow <laughs>